like you could look around and not have a, a memory or something. How far would you go to save something you loved and spend a lifetime to build? Thanks for staying with us at 430. I'm Kayla Moody and for Rachel Platt. A Southern Indiana family is going to great lengths to keep a six decade old tradition alive. WHS 11's Robert Bradfield shares their story and struggle to keep their family business afloat. If home is really where the heart is, it's all I know, calves, cows, and a farm. Then there's no denying Jerry Brewer belongs here. It's more than just a business or a, losing a job, it's a way of life. He's a second generation Crawford County, Indiana farmer. His dad bought these 20 acres after World War II. Whatever little bit he come out of the war with, what he bought this farm with and started. The dairy farm would become one of more than 350 farms in the county, employing more than 400 people during the past six decades. Early mornings and long hours were required. There's something to a family farm. It's the whole family's involved. It's, there's just no other way to do it. It's not a normal business. With milk prices and profits declining, Brewer knew he wouldn't be able to compete with larger farms. They have a little more buying power and, and it's just a little tough to compete on a family level with a large farm and that's, that's okay. The financial pinch forced Brewer to make some tough choices. The only home he's ever known is now up for auction. The thought of losing it all would make anyone uneasy. I don't think we stop thinking about that. Daughter-in-law Samantha Brewer raised four children here. This right here means everything to us. Family friends hope to keep the farm in the family. They've created this GoFundMe page, trying to raise enough money to become the highest bidder to buy back the land. We support each other and I love them and they love me and they do the same thing. A show of support for the only family owned dairy farm left in Crawford County. Brewer isn't ready to close this chapter just yet. He wants to see his grandkids, the fourth generation, be able to call this place home too. Grandkids just love being with Papa, petting a calf, riding tractor, and seeing, you know, they just love it. And uh, that's probably one of the toughest things that, that, you know, it may not be here for that generation. And it's not just the land that's for sale. The cows and equipment also up for auction. Brewer is hoping to at least keep a combine so he can harvest the corn that he planted. Also, Kayla, the auction for that property ended at 4 o'clock today. But depending on how many bids or if there were multiple bids, it could remain open a little longer tonight. And we posted that GoFundMe page along with this story on WHAS11.com. But your heart really going out to that family. Absolutely. I mean, you can just see how much they love that yeah. farm just from hearing them talk. Do you know how much they've raised yet? On the uh, well, that page right there, uh, it showed about $18,000. That was up to date for about half an hour ago. They mm -hmm. were trying to raise 75000 so they do have a little bit to go. But again, we'll be posting that on our website if you want to contribute. All right, Robert, thank you. Yep. Keeping them in our thoughts. Well, numbers from the U.S. Department of Agriculture show a decline in the number of farms across the U.S. In 2007, there were 2.2 million farms. In 2012, that number dropped to 2.1 million. During that same time period in Indiana, there were nearly 61,000 farms 10 years ago compared to 58,000 in 2012. Kentucky also saw a decrease. 85,000 farms in 2007 dropping to 77,000 five years ago.